Hey, welcome. My name is Chang and I'm always climbing. And uh, today I'd just like to go over my first day climbing in Tennessee. I recently moved down here approximately three days ago at the time of making this video and at the time of recording two days ago. And just a little bit quick context. I hail from Minnesota, land of 10,000 lakes. Not a lot of bouldering. Chang. Chang is always climbing. Chang likes bouldering. And thus he goes bouldering. I hope that makes sense. In Tennessee, where the sandstone is hard as schmuck. So first off, I'm at the Old Wahatchee Pike Trail head, something like that. And the first boulder I hop on is uh, the Cliffhangers boulder. Now the thing about this Cliffhangers boulder is, it's supposed to be a V1. I don't think I did it right, but as I'm climbing it, I have this overconfidence in my head that goes something like, Chang, you never fall off of V1s outdoors. Let's not be ridiculous. Why would you need pads? Let me tell you something. Make sure you have pads. Don't be like this guy. I was dumb. A little bit of context, it rained the day prior and it was humid as schmuck. It was, I was glistening eventually, actually right now, honestly. And so as I got around to this midway point, it may not look like it, but this boulder is slightly, just so slightly overhanging and I get scared sometimes, a lot of times really, but I actually have a pretty high success rate of topping out boulders a hundred percent from the ground up. But. I wasn't feeling that, that confident and when I don't feel that, my bad, I wasn't feeling that uh, safe and when I don't feel safe what I like to do is I just like to shut off the bitch part of my brain and just enter logic mode and I just basically pulled out like V7 strength onto this V1 and even as I near the top the holds up there which all look like jugs by the way I'm sure they are uh, they were all like slopey and the more this is gonna be a theme to this video called I hate sloper top outs but I eventually ultimately topped it out and even when I topped it out it took me maybe four or five minutes to figure out how to come back down because I, I couldn't figure it out for the life of me which was cool which then bring us to the meat and potatoes of today's video which is old Greg's V5 now the great thing about this problem is it's, it's not a V5 I swear to god this shit is, was hard as hell I, I ain't never spent so many tries on a V5 in my life outside Unless when I first started, but that was like two, three years ago. But the problem typically starts with a right hand up and a left hand down low. I thought the problem was a lot prettier, starting with a two hand mash on the down low underclaim. So that's, that's exactly what I did. Now you go to this excellent right hand pinch. But the problem about this excellent right hand pinch, it might have just been the fact that the weather was like 82 degrees and humidity was like 10,000. But uh, everything wasn't feeling that great. But also, everything was feeling very, very solid. So it just felt like I just had to squeeze really hard. And I thought I was going to flash it. I didn't. But the initial hard crux slap to the left-hand sloper seems like it would be a lot better given that the weather conditions were better. But they were not. But alas, whatever. But this problem did bring to the forefront that my initial beta of using left foot left and right foot right just wasn't good enough. I could see how it could work, but it made me feel like I was really low and that I wasn't going to be able to catapult myself up, at least not in these conditions. So I opted to instead use some big brain beta, activate my right foot into this wumbo pocket and do a left foot kind of like uh, flag smear on the foot little jib. And that in itself actually gives you a really nice right hand and right foot to go to a decent left hand and allows you to static the move. If you guys been trying this problem but fail the jump, try this method instead. I think it works excellently and I think it's easier. So I managed to stick the move and then I tried to run the top a little bit but I fell. And when I fell I kind of knew that the top was going to be really really scary and that I was fully prepared to die. And so when I fell down, I recomposed myself and then after a couple of goals, I finally got up to that same point again. And now as I'm topping out this boulder, every single moment I'm up here, I'm just thinking, if I fall, I'm probably going to hurt something. It's either going to hurt me mentally, it, it definitely will hurt me mentally, or it's going to hurt me physically. Therefore, I have to activate the mindset of shut the fuck up. Ain't nobody got time to be bitching and moaning. Let's be logic go. And the logic dictates that one, I don't want to come down because I want to send this boulder. 
And two, even if I come down now, I won't take it as a sin because you got to top it out. And three, I'm going to do it. That's, that's just how I perceived it. So I'm moving around, figuring out all the jugs and all the movement. And every time I'm moving, I'm just thinking back to all my training. The training that I could hold myself with one arm on 22 millimeters. The training that I could hold myself with one arm in a lock off. And the training that uh, even if everything lets go, as long as one hand is on, I should be okay. But also the training that my body is very flexible, pliable, and that if I fall, so long as I land decently, I'm just going to roll back out, uh, punch, slap myself in the face and be like, hey, it's okay. But in reality, I mean, in reality, uh, the situation was everything was super slippery. It just rained yesterday. I was out of chalk. I didn't know the top out. My pads weren't placed in the correct position of falling. And so I was just honestly one of the scariest top outs of my life. Not the scariest, maybe the second scariest. But the one that had the most risk of fucking my shit up was this uh, problem. Greg, oh Greg, V5. If it is, hardest V5 I've ever done. But then I am what's known as a guy that likes to do clients that are low to the ground. And don't cause me too much harm if I fall. Therefore, I'm a bit of a low ball traversy connoisseur. And this problem is Dirt Dabbler V5, V6. And the interesting thing about this problem is they say to use the lowest rail as the handholds. And as you can see, if we could split this boulder up into this segment, which was the lowest rail, and then this upper segment, which is kind of like not the lowest rail. And if you use the upper segment, and then I could see this problem being V5, V6. But I was just using the directly lower part and avoiding the top holds. And by doing it that way, it definitely made it feel more like a V6, V7. Or maybe I'm just off with this climb and my beta was shit. Which, I'm not going to lie, it took me a little bit of time to figure out the beta for this climb. But I did very much enjoy it. And did you guys notice how glistening I am? If you look at this man's back, I'm practically sweating a shower. But the thing I like about outdoor climbing is the movement is very... 3D. Even on this straight traverse, I don't think I've ever done this movement right here, which is super weird, but really cool. Now, the crux of it all does start from this underclang, and then you got to go down into this right hand sloper. And the thing about this right hand sloper is, though it is really big and wide and spacious, it is shit. Pretty garbage. Now, it could have been the, the conditions, but uh, to be honest, I thought it was fine, but I, it just required a tremendous amount of power to match two hands into it with all your limbs on it without falling off. Ultimately, I really enjoyed this climb, but I did not, I unfortunately did not send as one would say. Now the problem why, or the main reason why I didn't send it was just because it took me way too long to figure out the beta. I got, I touched the last move like maybe twice, I think and couldn't do it but this is one of those problems that would definitely go next time i'm there again i think it's more like six seven the way i'm doing it but i think you use the high rail then it does make the five six mark for sure So after getting my butt kicked for a bit, I went 
to this boulder, which is called Wall Angle, View of the Wall. The, I'll put it up somewhere. I like this boulder a lot. I flashed it. That's probably why I like it, to be honest. But it clocks in at V5. And it starts with this awesome, cool, pretty juggy underclaim. And I spent a lot of time sussing out the beta because I suck at flashing boulders, especially outside. Now, the main reason why I suck at it is it's not the fact that I'm bad at it, it's that I have very little practice with it. If you live in a place like where I live and there's not a lot of outdoor boulders, well, you only get like 30 chances to flash things and they're not all flashable range. So for every time I try a climb that's approximately V5 or lower, I'm going in it with the mindset that I should be able to flash this if I'm not stupid. So that's exactly what I did. I figured it out. I pinched it really hard. And at some point in time, I was just psyching myself out. I was like, bro, why am I... Just go up, move, right? I was, I was second guessing everything, guessing my feet, uh, guessing my range. But eventually I just, ah, yuck! I just pulled up, I hit the crimp and I was like, nice. And then I bumped it to the jug. I was like, cool, I'm done. But then, but then I yucked up to what I thought was a jug, but I yucked up with the intentions that I could catch myself if it's not. It wasn't a jug, it was a sloper and then I fell back down. And here we begin all over again, a slopey top out that all three of these top outs that I did today just made me feel like if I fell, I was going to die, including this one, even though like the graph fall isn't epic or anything and it's close to the ground. I couldn't find any crimps. I never miss crimps so much. Everything was just a sloper and that was just awful. But I ultimately did do it. Now, I will have to say in reflection that today, I did pretty poorly. But to be fair, it was a pretty weak day, which was understandable. But overall, what what good day climbing. Yeah, glad I moved down here. Anyways, if you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, partner.